Hello and welcome to the 34th video in the PHP e-commerce series. My name is Curtis and this is Free Skills. Well, in this video is going to be really short. We're going to do our second edition of bug squashing. And this bug was reported to me by a user via comment. And um, I appreciate that very much. Um, I'll probably do another bug squashing video at the very end of the series if we find any more. But this one is to fix um, some issues with updating products. Now, if I try to update a product, which first of all, from the last video, you know, we, we updated the inventory once a person credit card went through. So if I look at our, our high heels now and I go to quantity and sizes, remember that we bought all of size 14 and now this is set to nothing. But if I get more inventory in stock, I can simply um, go ahead and get, see I got four pairs in now and hit save changes go ahead and edit the product um, back on the front end of the site uh, now if I go ahead and look at those high heels there should be yep size 14 so that's how you update and add inventory to the products uh, just on the back end in the products so uh, that's that um, we will do some dashboard things later on to make the process smoother and go easier um, but let's go ahead and squash another bug that we have. So let's go back to the back end again. So if I go to products, and I we'll go ahead and edit the high heels again. A um, couple things. One, if I try to take away this description, and let's go ahead and take away the list price as well, and hit edit product. If I go back and look, they're back. Um, if these aren't required fields, we don't want this sort of behavior because I might want to get rid of the, of the list price or, and I may want to change or get rid, rid of the description. Now, in fact, if I do change the description, um, that will work. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and change that back. We want to be able to completely remove it if we want. So the reason that that's happened is if we look in our products.php if we look at um, in the edit uh, right here where the description and list price are we're doing a, um, a ternary operator and we're saying if post for those is set okay and they're not equal to a blank string so if you make them a blank string this is not running and then it pulls it pulls the value from the database okay and actually what we need to do is look down here um, inside the edit so we're resetting the list and the description here so this not equal to empty right here we need to remove that for list price and description and any other field here that you want to have an empty string on um, so most of these um, you know we have a check you know it goes to the errors for for validating so I'm just gonna remove those two just to, to show you that you can remove that now so if I just save that and we'll go back and refresh the page um, we'll go to high heels here and if I just want to remove this and we'll go ahead and remove the list price and hit edit product now if I go back um, you can see that they are indeed uh, fixed so I'm just gonna add this back to what it was put that back in there so now um, that works as well but now we can have empty values when we're editing products that was one bug the other bug comes from when we uh, delete an image okay so or if we don't want to have an image so if I want to completely get rid of our image and edit the product you can see what happens is I get these errors here and I also get an undefined offset on 83 and 86 so first of all, let's just kind of look at what 83 and 86 have going on. Here's 83. 83 is looking for a second element of the MIME extension array, uh, or the file extension array, and then 86 is a MIME extension. They're both looking for the second element. Now, the first element exists because it's nothing, but if the, the array is empty, this obviously it won't even have the second element. So this one right here, the, the uh, index one is not is is undefined it's it's an invalid uh, index of the array the reason that this is happening 
is because we're in our if statement here we're checking if not empty files but let's go ahead and var dump files okay so if I do okay so if I save that we go back to the page here and we just refresh this um, we have this var dump here and you can see that this is indeed uh, not empty because there is an element in this array called photo and inside a photo um, because we have that this this right here the input is photo we have photo and then inside that we have a name a type a temp name so this isn't empty that was just bad logic on my part so we need to be more specific with that check and so what we're going to do is instead of checking this if not empty um, what I want to do is say something like um, if dollar underscore files name okay um, oops actually what we want to do is put photo there or whatever you called your input so let's go back and look for me it was photo so if photo and then we can say um, name if that is not equal to a blank string so now this var dump shouldn't even show up and we can indeed now add a product without an image and that's because we've corrected that um, but what I want to do is let's remove the var dump that was for development purposes and um, now I want to add my photo back just to make sure we're all good so I'm just going to go ahead and add my high heels back and if we go back in and check now uh oh what happened alright well you probably won't have this error I copied this file from another pro project that where I do um, I have a backup going in case something horribly goes wrong and I forgot to make a few changes to this so I'm just going to search this for close and here's my problem my database I'm setting this to a path that's bad and yours shouldn't be that way um, but now if I go and delete this image choose another one this should now correct itself yep there we go so all is good now with our product uh, editing and updating if you have any more fields that you want to be able to um, have empty values posted uh, you just need to check here in your um, inside this if set edit and when we're setting these variables um, you can just take away these um, where it's checking if they are equal to a blank string okay so that's it for this bug squashing video um, I hope that helps and I will see you guys in the next video please comment like subscribe and share this with someone who needs it Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good night.